O'Donnell, do you want to start with House Committee substitute for House Bill 2756? Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee, for the record, State Representative Michael O'Donnell, represent the southernmost part of St. Louis County, uh, here to present House Bill 2756. Uh, this bill passed out of local governments 10 to 0, rules 9 to 0, and was third read last week, uh, 105 to 16, uh, with no voiced opposition in committee. So what the bill does is uh, two things. First, it ends the residential PACE program. Uh, currently, residential PACE only exists in California, Florida, and Missouri. Meanwhile, there are 37 states and the District of Columbia that have commercial PACE programs, which have to do with things like ag, hotel, multifamily, office, retail, uh, things like that. Uh, this, is, this structure of financing is incredibly uh, complicated. Um, some of you may have seen, and I recommend you, you Google it, uh, John Oliver Pace. He did a, John Oliver did a, uh, a bit on it and demonstrated how incredibly complicated this financing structure is uh, for individuals and homeowners. Uh, in, in Oliver's words, this program is fundamentally flawed. Um, the, the way this, the financing works is um, you take home improvements like high efficiency uh, furnishes, furnaces and air conditioning systems, you can take solar panels, anything in the environmentally friendly space and you can use this financing to finance that. The challenge with it is that the financing actually isn't done like a normal bank. You're, the, the, it's actually tied to your property assessment. And so it, it's collected at the time of your, uh, your, when you pay your property taxes. And that in itself is problematic in that you've got a uh, financing structure that's been set up by a private entity but is now being collected by a public entity, being, essentially being collected by your assessors. Um, the challenge, too, is that you've got contractors who really don't understand this complex financing trying to explain it to uh, homeowners. That's just like, and again, to use John Oliver, it's just like hiring your banker to, to clean up the grout in your shower. It's just, it's backwards. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. Um, I found this interesting from our testimony from the House side. And this is from, um, I'll, I'll read a bit of it here. Uh, while PACE type programs may be appropriate finance mechanisms for sophisticated commercial real estate owners, the risks to vulnerable residential homeowners who lack access to conventional loans are simply too great. Under current Missouri law, residential PACE effectively enlists the government as a debt collector on high interest financing with minimum consumer protections. Unlike traditional subprime loans, however, if you cannot afford to pay a PACE assessment, the consequence is severe. The government takes your house. Neither the county nor the state should permit, permit its taxing and collecting powers to be used for the benefit of subprime lenders. And really, and that's, that's from Jake Zimmerman, who is the St. Louis County Assessor. Um, and really what, what he's saying there... And I'm going to interrupt you for a second. We have three bills to hear. Oh. We have an exec session, and we've got committee members that are needing to be in two or three places at once. So if you could move along a little bit, that, that would be appreciated. Thank you. All right. Um, so the, the challenge here is that there's, there are actually programs out there to help folks in this space, and this program isn't it. This, this program has led to folks losing their homes. Um, the other changes in the bill have to do with the commercial section. Um, it, what, the two changes that, are, that we're making in the commercial section, one allows dealers who pool these commercial PACE loans uh, to do so in states other than just Missouri. So a lot of times they pool them based on the, the type, so a hotel or multifamily or office. Uh, this would allow them to, to pool these in, in larger pools across the state. It also allows the financing to go as long as 30 years. So uh, in the end, it doesn't impact. Also, we had someone ask um, about it, 
it affecting multifamily, and it should not affect the, the elimination of the residential pace should not affect uh, the multifamily section. And I uh, just confirm that with Nuveen, their their commercial pace section, their website shows that multifamily is covered under commercial. And with that, I'm happy to take any questions. Questions for this witness or for the bill sponsor? Sorry. Seeing none. Next, first up in favor of House Committee substitute for House Bill 2756. Madam Chair, members of the committee, David Kent, registered lobbyist for the Missouri Bankers Association, want to go on record in support of the bill. Uh, Madam Chair, you are very familiar with the PACE program. You had the bill a few years ago uh, to put some guardrails in place. Um, this would just s simply eliminate the residential uh, PACE, pro uh, PACE program in the state of Missouri. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, next step in favor? Madam Chairman, Andy Arnold, on behalf of Missouri Independent Bankers Association, to go on record. I could tell you a lot of horror stories, but I won't. I've heard some of them, too. Thank I you for you your have. Thank you. questions for this witness. Seeing none, next up in favor. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee. Mike Winter, representing the Missouri Credit Union Association. We also are, want to go on record in support of the bill. Thank you. Questions for this witness. Seeing none, next up in favor. Good afternoon, Madam Chairman, members of the committee. My name is Heath Clarkston. I'm here on behalf of the Mortgage Bankers Association of Missouri. I'd like to go on record in support. Questions for this witness? Thank Seeing you. none, next up in favor. Madam Chairman, members of the committee, Sam Licklider, Missouri Realtors, in support of the bill. Thank you for your testimony. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, next up in favor. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the committee, David Jackson, registered lobbyist for the Missouri Clean Energy District. This could be summed up by uh, you, Madam Chair, were right and we were wrong. Uh, we, uh, um, in all seriousness, the Missouri Clean Energy District is the one who administered a lot of residential pace and um, is no longer working with any residential pace administrators, is solely focused on commercial, and we think that's where the future is and uh, support these changes. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, next up in favor? Seeing none, anyone here to testify in opposition to House Committee Substitute for House Bill 2756? Seeing none, anyone here for informational purposes only? Seeing none, Representative, any final comments? This will conclude the hearing on House Committee Substitute for House Bill 2756. Next up will be House Bill 2440, Representative Christofanelli, and you can start when you're ready. Thank you, Madam Chairman, members of the committee, Phil Cristinelli from the 104th District, uh, here to present House Bill 2440. Uh, Madam Chair, this bill includes several pieces of legislation that I believe have all come through your committee in the past, so there shouldn't be anything new in here. The base bill is the reinsurance uh, bill, which is an in-coil model language governing how reinsurance companies will be treated during a, an insolvency or, or bankruptcy. Uh, the additional pieces, uh, I believe, are your legislation uh, increasing the 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 from 5,000 to 15,000 the self storage unit insurance, uh, and uh, we have legislation in here uh, that addresses the department and their ability to conduct. Um, Lots and investigations of, of insurers, putting some safety rails and, and guardrails in, in place to ensure that uh, the interests of the insurer are protected throughout that process. Uh, we have the Protecting Missouri Mutuals Insurance Company Act, which makes some modifications to our mutual insurance uh, regulations uh, to ensure, ensure that those uh, products uh, and companies remain viable into the future. Uh, and then there's the piece that concerns uh, the uh, financial responsibility verification system uh, from Representative Francis uh, legislation making minor modifications to the system he put in place uh, a couple of years ago. Those are mostly technical changes. Uh, I don't believe that uh, there's anything in here that uh, is terribly controversial. Uh, if you have uh, any questions, I'd be happy to entertain those. And just for the committee's uh information i think you're right i think we've heard every one of these bills already and passed them out of here and so are there any questions for the bill sponsor and senator brown we're on 20 uh, house bill 2440 it's made up of several of the insurance pieces that we've already heard and passed out of this committee we'll give you a second see if you have any questions for the bill sponsor
seeing none first up in favor of house bill 2440 Madam Chair, members of the committee, Michael Henderson for the Missouri Insurance Coalition uh, in support of this bill for the reasons set forth by the sponsor. Happy to answer any questions. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, thank, thank you, you for your testimony. Next up in favor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mike Winter representing the American Council of Life Insurers. We'd also like to go on record specific to the reinsurance provisions of the bill. I'd also note that uh, Will Reardon with RGA, who had testified in support of your bill, uh, could not be here today and asked me to indicate he was in support of 20 feet, 2440 as well. Thank you for your testimony. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, next up in favor. Madam Chair, members of the committee, Randy Scherer, uh, representing the Association of Self Storage, the National Association. Uh, one very small piece that you're familiar with, it was in your bill, 927, I think, that increases that uh, limited lines from 5,000 to 15,000. We passed it 5,016. Since then, we've got clients coming in and renting, and they want more coverage for their storage units, so just raised it. Now, the national average is somewhere between 20 and 40,000 on those limited lines, so. Be glad to answer any questions. Questions for this witness? Thank Seeing none, thank you for your testimony. Uh, we're going to take a pause real quick and take a roll, establish a quorum. So, Barb, if you will call the roll. Senators Crawford? Here. Trent? Here. Brown? Here. Hoskins? Huff? Okay. Mosley? Roberts? Here. We do have a quorum. Okay, any, anyone uh, else in favor, uh, want to testify in favor of House Bill 2440? Seeing none, anyone here to testify in opposition to House Bill 2440? Seeing none, anyone here for informational purposes only for House Bill 2440? Seeing none, this uh, uh, representative, I want to say senator, representative, any final comments? Thank you. Uh, this will conclude the hearing on House Bill 2440. The last bill we're going to hear today is House Bill 2780, Representative Hicks. Whenever you're ready. Madam Chair, uh, members, of the, uh, members of the committee, uh, I have House Bill 2780. House Bill 2780, the underlying bill, uh, amends the Uniform Commercial Code, uh, which provides uh, suggested uh, updates from the Uniform Law Commission. Uh, these updates uh, include uh, Article 9 to allow perfection of security interest and in, uh, digital assets, provides new rules for hybrid transactions, it updates rules for electronic negotiable instruments, and updates terminology to account for electronic signatures and electronic documents. Uh, this bill also has a few amendments that were added on to it. Uh, it has the Money Transmission Modernization Act, which I believe it's yours, uh, 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 Madam Chair. Uh, it's uh, Senate Bill 737 that came through this committee here. Uh, this bill also has a amendment uh, for a provision relating to publication of sale of property and self-storage units uh, for people who default. Uh, this, is a, this is a Senate Bill, Senate Bill uh, 938, which is sponsored by uh, Senator Justin Brown. Uh, this bill also has a provision that increases uh, the maximum insurance coverage uh, that may be offered to uh, self-service storage unit providers. Uh, this is uh, Senate Bill as well, 727 by uh, you, uh, you, Senator Crawford, and also has uh, Senate Bill uh, 753, which is sponsored by Senator uh, Justin Brown as well, that came through this committee here that deals with uh, commercial financial disclosure laws. And with that, I'm happy to take any questions. Questions for the bill sponsor? Seeing none. First up, in favor of House Bill 2780. Madam Chair, members of the committee, my name is Keith Thornberg. I'm the General Counsel for the Missouri Bankers Association. Uh, we appear uh, for our association and our members in support of House Bill 2780. Uh, primarily, we are focused on the UCC amendments, these are general uniform amendments to the Uniform Commercial Code. 
that the Uniform Law Commission put out in 2022. Um, I won't go into too much detail. Uh, the representative did a great job and um, in presenting this, but the new Article 12 related to controllable electronic records deals with documents that are in electronic form related to, to assets, and it's essentially the rules of, road, of the road for dealing in electronic documents. Um, and it could be anything from cryptocurrency to electronic uh, notes and, and bonds and electronic mortgages. And they, these just provide for the safe custody or the transfer of these uh, electronic instruments. Uh, we also support the um, updates to the Chapter 61 for what was referred to as the Sell of Checks Law. This is also a uniform act that was put together by the Conference of State Bank Supervisors. Uh, we believe the Division of Finance has made some adjustments to that to fit Missouri, but our old Sale of Checks Law is just hopelessly out of date. It's been stretched to fit these new payment systems, and um, but this is a complete update of that, and the, and the system will just work better. Uh, we did some review of the additional matters uh, in the bill related to self-storage units and the, and the special niche financing terms and conditions that the representative touched on. We don't have any concerns with those, and uh, I'm pleased to answer any questions. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, thank, thank you for your testimony. Next up in favor of House Bill 2780. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the committee. My name is Rich Weaver, and I'm with the Federal Home Loan Bank of Des Moines. Um, FHLB Des Moines is a member-owned cooperative serving banks, credit unions, and insurance companies throughout the 13-state region. We have uh, 240 of those members are based here in Missouri. Um, our primary pr uh, mission is to provide loans to our member institutions, and they use those loans to support their liquidity needs. So the loans that we provide to them must be fully secured and under the current UCC framework, they're required to contain a wet ink signature on the note. So House Bill 2780 is important and timely enhancement to the UCC code because it would allow our member institutions to pledge loans that are signed with a digital signature. So to be clear that digital loans digitally signed are legally enforceable. The issue though is the transfer and control of those loans to a secured lender like the FHLB. So as more and more institutions are adopting digital signatures, really the holdback for them, it quite frankly, is they cannot pledge those loans to the Federal Home Loan Bank as collateral. And you know, prior to joining the Federal Home Loan Bank, I was a bank regulator here in Missouri for about 30 years, and I served as the, the commissioner of banking during the financial crisis. So I can tell you with firsthand experience how critically important it is that an institution have a stable, reliable source of liquidity throughout all economic cycles. Again, this would offer more opportunities to our members to pledge additional loans, and obtain additional liquidity through that manner, and that's why we support the bill. So. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, thank you for being here today. Thanks for your testimony. You're welcome. Thank you. Next up in favor of House Bill 2780. Uh, good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the committee, Mick Campbell, uh, Commissioner for the Division of Finance and Divisions in support of this bill, particularly uh, the portions that relate to updating those uh, money transmitter statutes that were mentioned earlier by the representative and um, are basically contained uh, same as your Senate Bill 737. So happy to take any questions that you all have. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, thank, thank you for your testimony. Next up in favor. Madam Chair, members of the committee, Alex Eaton representing the Electronic Transactions Association and the Revenue-Based Finance um, Coalition. Uh, two provisions in this bill, seven, Senate Bill 753 and 737 are the two that we care about and um, appreciate the consideration today. Happy to take any questions. Questions for this witness? Seeing none, thank you for your testimony. Next up in favor. You've been waiting a long time. <laughs> thank you, Madam Chair. Randy Shear representing the National Self Storage Association again. This contains the two provisions, one we've already talked about that was in your bill, and the other one was Senator Brown's and Senate Bill 938, which brings us into the 21st century on advertising for the, the lien sales uh, so we can maximize uh, the return back to the renter if there's anything left over. So, questions, for, answering questions. questions for this witness? Seeing none, Thank you. anyone else to testify in favor of House Bill 2780? Seeing none, anyone here to testify in opposition to House Bill 2780? 
Seeing none, anyone here for informational purposes only? Seeing none, this will conclude the hearing on House Bill 2780. I make a motion that we go into executive session. Do I have a second? second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. Since this will likely be our last hearing of the year, likely, I'm, we just kind of have to wait and see what uh, comes down the pike, we're going to go ahead and exec. I don't usually like to do that, but we're going to go ahead and exec on all these bills that we just heard. Um, I've checked with each member of the committee that's here, and they're okay with, with us going, in, going ahead and doing this. So uh, I first move that we take up House Committee Substitute for House Bill 2756. Do I have a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. This is the PACE bill that we just heard, which would delete residential PACE and make a couple of changes to the commercial side of uh, PACE. I move that we vote House Committee substitute for House Bill 2756 out of committee. Do pass. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> Seeing none, Barb, please call the roll. Senators Crawford. Aye. Trent. Aye. Brown. I'm sorry, did I say Brown? Yes. <laughs> Hoskins, Huff, Mosley, Roberts. Okay. Well, I guess it'd be three one. Sorry, just had to make a couple clarifications. By your vote of three ayes and one present, you have do passed House Committee substitute for House Bill 2756. I now, <clears throat> excuse me, I now move that we take up House Bill 2440. Do I have a second? I have a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. This is the bill that we just heard from Representative Cristofanelli, all the, uh, just as a reminder, I think every single thing in there we've heard and passed out of this committee all, uh, before. And so I move that we vote House Bill 2440 out of committee. Do pass. Do I have a second? Any discussion? Barb, please call the roll. Senators Crawford. Aye. Trent. Aye. Brown. Aye. Hoskins. Huff. Mosley. Roberts. By your vote of 4-0, you do passed House Bill 2440. And I now move that we take up House Bill 2780. Do I have a second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. And the ayes have it. And this is the last bill that we heard, uh, Representative Hicks' bill relating to uh, finance, or we'll just say commercial transactions. And I move that we vote House Bill 2780 out of committee. Do pass. Do I have a second? Aye. I have a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Barb, please call the roll. Senators Crawford. Aye. Trent. Aye. Brown. Aye. Hoskins. Huff. Mosley. Roberts. By your vote of three ayes and one present, you have due passed House Bill 2780. I move that we go out of executive session. Do I have a second? second. Have a second. All those in favor say aye. We're out of executive session, and just thank you, everyone, for your patience during the year. And I'm assuming we won't see you again, so have a great interim. And I'm making <laughs> no. Won't be happening. Ah, you you have little faith. Uh, I move that I uh, I make a motion. We adjourn. Do I have a second? All those in favor, say aye. Aye.